following was made possible by the Friends of the Fort Worth Public Library. Uh, I'm Ken Liu. I'm the author of uh, The Paper Menagerie and Other Stories, a collection of short stories. Uh, I am also the author of uh, a series of epic fantasy. Um, uh, the first book uh, in the Dandelion Dynasty is called The Grace of Kings, uh, and the second book is called The Wall of Storms that just came out. You know, that's an interesting question because I actually made a, a conscious effort early on not to focus on specific authors. Uh, I think it's really easy for people to get into this mill where they worship authors. Uh, and I actually like to focus on works. Uh, it's not authors that I tend to admire, but specific works. Uh, growing up, I really admired a lot of different books, uh, but focusing specifically on science fiction and, and fantasy, I really liked um, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, uh, as well as um, uh, The Dispossessed. It's probably my grandmother who inspired my love of writing. Um, she, uh, to be honest, it's not writing so much that I love, but storytelling. Uh, my grandmother told me stories when I was a kid, uh, and those stories ended up being some of the first uh, narratives uh, that really inspired me to tell my own stories. Uh, so I would say my grandmother. No, I didn't set out uh, to write science fiction. It sort of happened to me. Um, I've always enjoyed telling stories that uh, are very explicit about the metaphor. So all fiction ultimately is about the logic of metaphors uh, and, and, and really constructing a set of metaphors that uh, gives you a certain emotional feel. And uh, it just happens that science fiction and fantasy are both genres in which you can be very explicit about the metaphors that you use and to literalize the metaphors that you're trying to convey. So for example, uh, if you're trying to talk about the way uh, modernity strips empathy from people, uh, you don't have to just talk about in the abstract, you can actually create uh, humans uh, that are called replicants uh, who don't have empathy, uh, and then you, you can go and talk about it. That's, of course, the story behind Do I Enjoy Dream of Electric Sheep or Blade Runner. Uh, and, and I like that kind of thinking, uh, the way you literalize and make some metaphor concrete, uh, which gives you something tangible to work with. And a lot of science fiction is, is about playing with those ideas, and, and that's what draws me to it. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm a lawyer and a programmer, uh, and I do think uh, these professions inform my writing in various ways. Uh, I mean, for one thing, uh, it turns out that uh, whether you're programming or uh, working as a lawyer, what you're doing is creating artifacts out of symbols uh, that follow specific rules to achieve a result. Uh, so if you're writing, uh, drafting a contract, you have to follow the legal rules to achieve a certain result for your client. And if you're programming, you're obviously trying to construct a program under the rules of the programming language that will do something that's desired. And when you're writing, it's the same thing. You're constructing a symbol artifact out of words and tropes and metaphors uh, to achieve an emotional result. And I like to think about all of these uh, architecturally uh, as the same kind of activity. Uh, so my latest book, uh, I have two. One of them is my short story collection called The Paper Menagerie and Other Stories, which collects 15 out of the 130 plus short stories I've published over the last few years. Um, uh, these 15 are, uh, some, some of them have won a lot of awards and some of them are just uh, stories that I really like a lot. And I put them together because I think they um, provide a nice overview of my, uh, generally my style and my interests. Uh, they're all very different. Some of them are very hard sci-fi and some of them are, are very much uh, closer to magic realism. Uh, but all of them reflect me and my obsessions and my concerns. Uh, my other book uh, that's new is The Wall of Storms, the second book in my uh, epic fantasy trilogy called uh, The Dandelion Dynasty. The first book was called The Grace of Kings and, and this Wall of Storms is the sequel. And uh, both of these books are kind of uh, distinguished by the fact that I call them silk punk epic fantasy because they are a little bit like steampunk, uh, but except uh, instead of using Victorian England technology as sort of the basis, 
they uh, take as their motto uh, the technology, vocabulary, and aesthetics of uh, East Asian antiquity. Uh, and so you have um, uh, airships constructed out of bamboo and silk, and you have giant battle kites, and you have submarines that swim around like whales. Uh, and it's a lot of fun, and, uh, and readers seem to enjoy them, and uh, I'm glad to be uh, working in that universe. Um, it, it, it's it's uh, funny that you asked the question, because most authors, um, in, myself included, don't really have a whole lot of input into book covers, but uh, in this particular case, uh, for The Grace of Kings and The Wall of Storms, my publisher asked me whether I had cover ideas. Now that doesn't happen very often, so I was very glad that I got the opportunity to actually influence a little bit. Uh, so I said, okay, so my story, uh, you know, my novels are interesting because they, they feature um, these very heroic uh, martial um, uh, central deeds and protagonists. but. They also is, uh, have, a, as their central metaphors, kind of the idea of something uh, more floral, flower-like. And, and so I decided that I would try to emphasize the contrast by having a, a helmet uh, on the cover of the first book with a dandelion coming out of it. Uh, that gives a hint to the whole series, which is called the Dandelion Dynasty. The dandelion is a flower that plays an important symbolic role in the narrative. And for the second book, I did something similar. Again. Um, in this book, uh, people wear these uh, animal skull helmets uh, and uh, I wanted to have uh, these red, bright red berries coming out of one of the eye sockets because the berries are again an important floral motif uh, for, the second, for the second book. Uh, so that's how I did it and I'm glad the publisher thought they were marketable enough uh, that uh, they actually went with it. I am, I'm pretty active on Twitter, and they can follow me on Twitter at KYLIU99, uh, or they can go to my website, uh, which is KenLiu, K E N L I U, dot name, N A M E. Uh, and when they go there, they can sign up for my mailing list, uh, which is very low traffic, and I just send out announcements about new releases and interesting tidbits about my appearances and so on. Uh, and uh, the blog that I keep there has links to reviews and interviews and uh, just little observations I have as I'm working on the books.